So those are the types of things you guys you deal with. Like, it's just some brokers' communication is just horrible. So like some brokers are just like over communicate which is good i think over communication is better than under communication you know there's brokers that will check up and stuff and this and that but not pushy but they they just check up you know just making sure and there's some that don't even talk to you like just which is <laughs> it's crazy so, i don't know i'd rather over communicate than under communicate learning you guys learning a long way you know so oh by the way we picked up another load going back heading back home after we drop off the uh, pickup bed that we're gonna pick up here a dump bed I should say um, we're we're gonna head to Hartford pick up that dump bed and then on our way to deliver it in Ohio we're gonna pick up a hydraulic pump or something you guys I'm not sure what it is but it it weighs what was it 4,500 pounds yeah 4,500 pounds and it's only 11 feet long so it's just and we get to chain it so once <laughs> So we'll have the dump dump bed insert on there tomorrow and that uh, hydraulic pump unit or whatever you guys on there as well. So when that will be going back with us east, no west to that's gonna get dropped off in St. Paul's, South Dakota. So um, once we drop off the dump insert tomorrow, pick it up to pick it up tonight. Drop it off tomorrow. That means we're going to try to find another partial heading home to add on to the hydraulic pump. Um, so we'll have about 14 feet of deck space to work with, and probably under 3,000 pounds. You guys, no, 4,000 pounds, four or five thousand pounds. We can um, have on there as well. So yeah, we're just making them loads. That's it right there, you guys. That's the bed right there. Hopefully it's 12 feet only. Looks like they're getting ready for winter. And uh, get this strapped in, strapped down.
We're getting some salt. the wheels overhanging or you're gonna want the wheels on the back of the ramps because then we need that foot overhang and I think those wheels are gonna sit over so we may need some locking before there I think got to swing in all right guys load it up uh, hopefully I have room for the other load there so we should be good to go all good all right let's head out good morning guys uh, we slept in at loves last night and um, you know, I always sleeping at loves, man. I always feel safe sleeping at loves. And I feel comfortable because it's familiar. Because loves is, everything's always the same, you guys, in the loves gas station. So, I really like that. Um, now we're on the road. We got about a five hour drive here to drop off. And and you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just drop this, man, bouncy. So we're just gonna go drop this load off. Um, I was gonna pick up the other load on the way down, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get this load off of my uh, trailer. So that way we know that the other load's gonna fit, uh, fit the, uh, at this trailer because this load's a little bit bigger than what the customer said it was gonna be so, which is fine um, the other one I was gonna if I loaded the other one up I was gonna drive it down with me anyways to drop off and then drive it back this way so it really didn't matter and plus I needed Four more binders and I don't have four but four more binders I used up two for this one so um, it'll work out good it'll work out good but I'm trying to book another partial um, after after um, I drop this one off and pick the other one up I need to book another partial to fill the trailer because I'll have about let me see 14 feet of deck space left when I put on the load that's going to Sioux Falls back to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So it'd be nice to get something on there. 
been trying to call this broker that uh, I've been wanting to get the load on there. I found some load to get back a partial load to add on to the one going to Sioux Falls, but the broker just won't answer. And the broker has good ratings. So, and if, if I load, if I would load this one, the one that I'm trying to get hold on, we're almost at one, two, we're like $350 a mile, you guys, if I add on that partial load going back home. Yeah, 350 miles, you guys. It's not bad. Hope I can get it. But um, if I do get another load on, it won't. Everything won't be dropped off until Monday. Today is Thursday, so it takes me a day to get home. Yeah, so, yeah. we'll see if we can get a hold of that. Uh, I supposed to text me. He doesn't text me. The address. Gave me. We signed a uh, rate con. The load that's going on so fast. We signed the rate con, and I was looking. <laughs> I was looking for the uh, address. It just says the state, city, and state. It don't say the street number. Or nothing. City, Iowa. Um, we're picking it up in Mansfield, Ohio. So, yeah, we're picking that up. It's a military, some kind of military generator or something. And that's going to Sioux City, Iowa. And our other partial is going to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So they're right next to each other. And we're going to be home for the weekend. Easy pass accepted. We finally got a easy pass like system or a chip here in the truck so I could drive a right pass it. Yes. Last time I would have to either just run it and get charged extra or, uh, or pay, pay with cash or debit. So. can't even like stay a couple minutes later so oh man frustrating so I'm down here I've Head got north on state route 65 north toward Williamstown Road got like a Head south on Township Highway 9K toward Road L10. Oh. So, she said if they need to repost it, they could. But In I'm already down line, here. Turn right onto State Route you know? 65 South. Sure. 
yeah, I guess I'll pick it up tomorrow, you know. Just drive there. I guess I'll have more. Like, I don't need no more drive time. So, I'll call it early day. I'll find somewhere to stay there, I guess. Oh, man, frustrating. I thought I could pick it up today and drive it up, drive up to the, my next pickup tomorrow. But that's not the case. We'll just drive to the location um, to pick that up. We'll be ready 8 in the morning to pick that one up, you guys. And then we got about four or five hour drive up, back up to Michigan City, Michigan City Indiana. That's upper, the north, northern part of Indiana. Pick up the last load that's going to Sioux Falls. Um, the first load that we'll pick up tomorrow is going to Sioux City, Iowa. And then second load's going to Sioux Falls. So, yeah, we're gonna just go find a loves, you guys, or somewhere to stay. And I got, I'm gonna, I spilled some peanuts in a chunk, and I can't find my other gloves that I had. So, I gotta clean the mess up, you guys. Um, all right, guys, I guess it's an early day. It's only 2 30 here. Oh my gosh. Head north east, then turn left. Only 2.30 and we're calling it a day. Head northeast, 